Truth in Action Ministries presents Tyranny, the High Cost of Forgiving God. Welcome to today's program where we want to focus on lessons we can learn from Nazi Germany so we make sure we never go down that same path. Tony Perkins is the president of the Family Research Council in Washington, D.C. I see some of those same patterns emerging in uh, the United States today. One of the dangers of the church agreeing to leave public life, says Perkins, is that she paves the way for God to be banned and religious liberty destroyed. The United States is a secular country. Our nation cannot officially endorse a religious ritual. For example, in Nazi Germany, Hitler forbid school prayers, ban Christmas carols and nativity plays, and actually changed the date of Christmas to December 21st, the date of the winter solstice. All the while, most of the church kept silent. In the United States, prayer in public schools has been banned since the 1960s. The Ten Commandments have been stripped from courthouses and the celebration of Christmas exchanged in some schools for a commemoration of the winter solstice. A second cultural stream that led to Nazi Germany was when that which was evil became legal. When Hitler wanted to get rid of the Jews, he first changed the laws, declaring Jews to be subhuman, thereby legalizing their killing. We see that in America today. The unborn are treated as less than human and can be killed at the whim of another person. Just as Hitler declared the Jews subhuman by law, so the United States Supreme Court said in the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision, the word person, as used in the Constitution, does not include the unborn. Sadly, the same kind of arguments that we hear in favor of abortion are also used against those who um, are disabled, who are elderly, who can't defend themselves. Dr. Richard Land explains why Nazi Germany's story is such a powerful warning to America. They forgot God and they began to worship themselves. And it's a part of us that thinks, you know, if that can happen in Germany, it can happen anywhere. And that is why, says Wendy Wright, America must never accept the banning of God from our public life. The United States has a great gift, and that gift is our founding fathers who did rely on God, who did believe in God, and built a country that is like no other country in history. But if we forget God, we will no longer be blessed. We will no longer prosper. 